panels. Uh, this will actually uh, add file onto your server and you can uh, import it into your ePlan layout. So technically here in the layout, once you have imported the file, right, uh, there we go, here, let's see if we have a new file uh, that we received. Uh, here I have a new file. This is the new file. So basically what I selected is here the a new format. So I'm actually using this name here. This I'm going to copy it. Copy. I'm going to use that information when I save my file. So basically here, let's just save that file into the uh, right folder. So here's a Rital folder. The name of the file, I'll make sure that it's easier to find. I'm going to use exactly the same name. So 30, 24, 12. Save it. There we go. Now, of course, once I'm actually click extract file, it's a zip file. So uh, I'm just going to extract it very quickly. There we go. Extract. So that's just Windows, right? I'm not really doing anything special here at this point. But this, of course, once it's done, allows me to uh, go back to my ePlan and import that into my ePlan. Here it is. So this is my step file that I'm going to import. Now, the file comes in with a bunch of different individual logical elements. I can, of course, individually go for each element and specify whether they are an enclosure, a door, a mounting panel. If I already have done this work, previously, which I did here, I can actually take an, an extra uh, feature of ePlan that will actually uh, convert the drawing that got imported to match all the surfaces as they were uh, defined on other VMs. So here, for instance, this is the newly imported one. And you can see that this, this one here came in with a bunch of logical elements. We're talking here about the hinges, etc. So typically, I would actually here open the properties, and typically I would have to go here in the logical element, uh, select them, what type of element they are. So they are a mechanical element, they are part of an enclosure, this is the enclosure, so this is the frame, etc. Now, my idea is not to go this way. All I'm going to do is use this extra feature of ePlan here for the device logic, device logic, automatic interpretation. And then it's going to ask me, okay, this step file that you imported looks like which one? Well, it looks exactly like any of these other VMs that you did import. So what it's doing, it's automatically configuring the door, right? Here is a door. I have the door inside surface, outside surface. So it basically picks it up from all these, uh, this other um, layout that I actually pre-configured just before. So here it is. So that's how easy it is. Use that automatic feature if you don't want to do it multiple times. So here I'm just going to finalize this to put the real name on it. The macro, I'm just going to put in the same macro name. These are just basically uh, ideas to be able to reuse this back in the ePlan parts, right? Because this macro has then to be attached to the macro part. There you go. That's how you do it. Let's just go back here, close this, and if you have any questions, hey, feel free to call me.